For decades, the Tyrannosaurus rex has been branded as the ultimate reptilian predator, a hulking, scaly beast that dominated the late Cretaceous period. But what if we told you that everything you thought you knew about this fearsome creature was wrong? Recent findings have shattered the long-held belief that T. rex was a cold-blooded reptilian predator. Instead, mounting evidence now points to a far more astonishing truth. The T. rex was in fact a bird. Paleontologists have long known that birds are descendants of theropod dinosaurs, the same group that includes the infamous T. rex. But the extent of their similarity was vastly underestimated. Now, after re-examining fossil records, scientists have irrefutably demonstrated that the T. rex wasn't just bird-like, it was a colossal bird, complete with feathers, hollow bones, and avian traits. The first clue that the T. rex was more bird than reptile comes from its skeletal structure. Modern flightless birds such as ostriches share an uncanny resemblance with the T. rex. Both have hollow bones, an evolutionary adaptation designed to reduce weight without sacrificing strength. These hollow bones are a defining characteristic of birds, built to allow flight, or in the case of large birds like the ostrich, rapid movement. More than that, T. rex's hip and leg structure, particularly its three-toed limbs, mirror those of modern birds. Its skeletal build reveals that it stood and moved in a way strikingly similar to today's birds. The misconception of T. rex's hunched posture is now debunked. It likely walked in an upright, balanced stance, much like an ostrich. Upon comparing the bones of T. rex and large birds, it becomes impossible to deny their similarities, says Jack Horner, a leading paleontologist known for his research on theropods and their bird-like features. What we once thought was a terrifying lizard was, in reality, one massive bird on legs. Feathers. Not just for the small dinosaurs. The most groundbreaking piece of evidence comes from fossilized remains that show feather imprints surrounding theropods, dinosaurs closely related to T. rex. While some argue that smaller dinosaurs had feathers, the idea that a giant like T. rex sported plumage is now accepted as fact. Discoveries of related species like Euteranus, a giant feathered dinosaur, make it clear that size did not preclude dinosaurs from having feathers. T. rex too was covered in feathers. These were not just for show but likely served essential functions like temperature regulation and attracting mates. Imagine a towering, feather-covered T. rex striding across prehistoric plains, far different from the leathery-skinned beast portrayed in museums and movies. Behavior more bird-like than ever imagined. Not only did T. rex look like a bird, but it also behaved like one. The posture of T. rex, upright with a tail used for balance, parallels that of large flightless birds like the ostrich. In fact, it's now believed that T. rex's movements were not that different from those of its avian descendants. Paleontologists now compare its gait to that of an ostrich, using long strides to cover ground quickly. T. rex likely hunted in ways akin to modern predatory birds relying on bursts of speed to ambush prey rather than slow stalking. Its keen eyesight and depth perception were similar to those of hawks or eagles, giving it the precision to catch prey from a distance. Like today's large raptors, the T. rex may have pounced on its prey, using its powerful jaws and legs to tear into flesh, much like how an eagle uses its talons to rip into its prey. The evolutionary link between T. rex and modern birds is undeniable. Fossils like Archaeopteryx, often considered the first bird, show us that feathers and flight didn't suddenly appear. They evolved over millions of years in creatures like T. rex. As the theropod family evolved, some species began adapting to flight, while others, like T. rex, retained their massive size but never lost their avian heritage. Mark Norell, a curator at the American Museum of Natural History and an expert in the relationship between theropods and birds, affirms, the divide between birds and dinosaurs has effectively been erased. Tyrannosaurus rex was as much a bird as an eagle or ostrich. It just happened to be a bird that weighed several tons. Disproving the myths, there will always be skeptics, but the evidence is now overwhelming. The classic rebuttal, that T. rex was too large to be a bird, crumbles under the weight of paleontological discovery. Consider the ostrich, cassowary, and emu, large, flightless birds that demonstrate bird-like creatures can be huge and remain efficient hunters or scavengers. The only difference? T. rex was an apex predator operating on a grander scale. The notion that T. rex was reptilian is an outdated concept. 
the result of misinterpreted fossils and limited technology. Now with advanced scanning and excavation techniques, we can see the truth with clarity. T-Rex was not the fearsome lizard of old, but a massive, predatory bird. Conclusion A new era of dinosaur understanding. The image of Tyrannosaurus rex is undergoing a radical transformation. As we uncover more evidence, it's becoming clear that T-Rex was not the reptilian terror we once imagined. It was a giant bird. A bird with razor-sharp teeth and a towering frame. But a bird nonetheless. This revelation forces us to rethink not just T-Rex but the entire dinosaur lineage. What other species have we misidentified as reptilian monsters when in fact they were early birds? The truth is that the world of dinosaurs and birds has always been closer than we thought, and the king of the dinosaurs, the mighty T-Rex, was ruling from a perch more fitting of a bird than a lizard.